Hi again guys, I'm Cubit and you're watching part 3 of my Rubik's Cube solving tutorial. Our next stage is gonna be solving the yellow cross and we need to do that, keeping everything we've done before, so we need to make a yellow cross. These are some situations you could end up with after finishing the previous stage. Look at your Rubik's Cube, it doesn't matter where the edges are, they even could be solved, but we need to look at our edges only, so look only at these pieces, these corners, don't matter, one more possible scenario is when except the center there's no yellow edges on the yellow side, to solve this scenario we need to do the algorithm, front clockwise, right algorithm one time. and return the front. Now we ended up with the L case, the next case is when the edges don't make a dot, but they make a corner, that is how they are situated, not in front of one another, but close, I associate it with the L, which shows L, rotated 90 right, and this is what this situation is called. So it's the exact position we need to hold our cube so it looks like a rotate L. To solve this situation we need to do almost the same. Turn the front face clockwise, like we did before, and now we also do the right algorithm. And return our front face turn it counterclockwise. One more possible scenario is when your yellow edges make a single line like that, so if our edges make a line here, first we keep it horizontal, don't put it vertical, horizontal only, and here's what we need to do in order to make a cross, take the cube with the yellow side facing up, keep your line horizontal, turn you front face clockwise, next thing we do our right algorithm one time, R, U, R, U. And now we are putting our front face back to its position, so we turn it counterclockwise. As you can see, one simple step and the cross is finished on the yellow side, 